Captain Davies to hit film. How's your shore leave going, Captain? Yeah, you know, I'm sampling some of the local cuisine and uh, I think we're gonna need some medical supplies down here. Can you have the doctor send down some proper medical supplies? Roger that, Captain. Thanks, Starship Hitfield. Tell Dr. Wilkinson I said thank you. <laughs> Hit Film Sensei here. Uh, today, in this video, we're going to talk about how to do a uh, tr Star Trek transporter effect. But first, I want to just show you a stream of uh, Star Trek transporter looks over the years. Some of these are from the original series, some of these are from the next generation, some of these are Borg transporters or, you know, Romulan, whatever. The thing is, what do you notice about them? They're all different, right? Uh, some of them are longer, some of them take shorter, uh, some of them have lights to them, some of them you just kind of melt away or flash in, you know, whatever it is. So the point is, is that it doesn't really matter, uh, you know, how you do this effect, but as long as it looks something like an original Star Trek transport effect, then people are going to immediately buy it as that. So you can kind of play with it and make it your own. You can create something that is specifically yours, right? And then, you know, it'll be, it'll be unique. It'll be original, right? So I'm going to show you what I did with mine, and then you can kind of use it as a base to create your own. So I have my raw project file here. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to right click on it and say, make composite shot and click OK. Now what I did in this was, is I held the bottle underneath the table so I could create a clean plate in this area where I set the bottle. So I, there's a clean plate and then I set the bottle there and then I started acting out the scene. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to use that and create a clean plate. I'm going to use a slider to zoom in on the timeline. I'm going to use the period key to advance one key and I'm going to right click and slice the selected area. And then I'm going to rename that clean plate because that one frame is going to be my clean plate. I'm going to then use my rate stretch tool and I'm going to lengthen it out so it's a little bit longer okay now what i did after that was i went ahead and played out the scene i put it up and then i played out the scene so i'm gonna trim this to the point where i start playing out the scene and then bring it back right okay now i don't need a mask for the whole or i don't need a clean plate for the whole thing just that piece so i'm actually going to on the clean plate mask out that part and then I'm gonna feather that mask just a little bit that way maybe 20 pixels that way it's can't really tell that the mask is there and if you kind of toggle it on and off you can see wow it's, I mean you can't even tell that there's a mask there so that's gonna hide the bottle until it actually transports in okay all right now it starts here right the scene plays out and it's actually gonna start um, transporting right at the beginning of this and then at the just before I start to reach for it yeah maybe about at four seconds that'd be perfect okay that's where we're gonna end our uh, transport so what I want to do is right click on this duplicate that footage and then trim it to four seconds and this duplicate is actually going to be the transported bottle itself okay all right, and that's what I'm gonna end up working with. And what I wanna do is, is I'm gonna use my scroll wheel to, ma to zoom in here a little bit. And I am going to, on the transported bottle, I'm going to mask out just the bottle because I need to work with that. That's all that I'm gonna transport. And if you're doing this for you know a, a thing or a person, you wanna do a really good job of making sure it's really masked well. I'm not, I'm kind of rushing through this. But you would want to make sure that it's really precise so that it looks very realistic. And mine isn't looking that realistic, but it'll it'll do. Okay. So now you can see that if I were to uh, remove the bottom, then all I have is the bottle left. Okay. And the bottle is what I'm going to use here to transport it. So 
Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an effect to that bottle and the effect that I'm gonna add is the grain effect. That's kind of the, the, the noise looking stuff there. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take that amount and I'm gonna crank it way up you know, to about 200 and I'm gonna make it monochrome. So now you can see that it sort of is, right? Okay, now I'm gonna actually add light streaks at the beginning uh, and that very beginning is only going to be about uh, the first half of a second. I'm gonna add some light streaks, okay? So at this point is where I want the bottle to actually come into view. So on the clean plate, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keyframe the opacity and then at about one second, I'm going to remove the, old, the clean plate completely. And so it will just sort of fade in there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and then the clean plate isn't necessary after that really. So I can sort of trim that back a bit, right? All we're doing is just hiding that until it appears, okay? Now the bottle itself will remove or will, the graininess of it should start to fade out here maybe about there you know maybe about two and a half seconds in which would be about um you know one and a half before it's done so i'm going to keyframe the amount of 200 and then when we get to the end of the i'm going to just and it now it's there so that's sort of your basic old school star trek effect and if we look at it we get this sort of fade in it almost looks like the original effect right okay but i want to add some light streaks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh create a new layer a plain layer i'm going to call it light click ok make sure it's black i'm going to right click on it and change the blend mode to add so that you can see through all that black and then i'm going to add a light flare to it all right and i'm going to just temporarily remove my clean plate so that I can see where the bottle is and I'm gonna move that light flare to on top of the bottle. Now this light flare I'm not very fond of. I'm gonna change the light flare to be a DV camcorder. It has that kind of up down, kind of next generation look to it, doesn't it? So that is pretty cool. What I wanna do is, is I want that to come in. Uh, so I'm going to keyframe the intensity and I'm gonna start at zero. And then a half of a second in, it's going to max out at about two, you know, and it'll sort of depend on what you're doing. And then at about one second, it'll go back to zero. And so that's sort of the initial key light that shines before it happens. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks great. So again, you can kind of take what I did and then base it on your, uh, base yours on that and then go from there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you create a Star Trek uh, transporter effect, definitely let me know. I'd love to see it. And anything else, leave them down there as well. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like. And otherwise, thanks for watching.